Well, look, if somebody is intolerant, thousand times you will tell the person to be tolerant, they will not understand. So people which have a certain set mind, in the mind they have already programmed themselves, you know. You can talk to them, are they listening? Hmm? No, they are not, because they are so fixed in their mind, they are so fixed in their ideas of how things have to be, but they don't see anything else. What you have to do in that situation, ignore them. That's the best way. Because if they are not ready to listen to you, why should you speak? If they are not ready to listen to you, why should you waste your time on them? Best is just to ignore them. If they want, they can come to you. Because if they want to, to understand something, if they want to learn something, they want to comprehend something, they willingly will come. But if you go and try to convert somebody which is not ready to listen to you, well, it will not make any say, sense of doing that. One thing is you can, let's say if you are talking to somebody, somebody asks you your experience, you can talk about your experience, but don't let the person talk back. Uh, back. Just tell what you have to say, which means you have to increase your energy higher. You see, it is always a power of, uh, it's a game. When somebody which is intolerant talking to you, it's a game. You will notice something, but they will never allow you to talk. Every word that you say, they will try to stop you talking. That, ah, well, listen to that. What you have to do at that point is that over talk them, ignore them as they are talking. Talk louder. Like that, you don't give them the chance to talk. When you are finished, you ignore them completely then. <laughs> because they have heard what you have to say. Not the best. You see, this game of uh, this power game, you will notice that everywhere in the world you will encounter people who will tell you oh, their point of view. Well, of course, everybody have their own point of view of life. No? Everybody have their own point of view of spirituality. But doesn't mean that their point of view, it is your point of view. No? And if you want to, to hear something from you, then you have to increase your energy over them. But if you see that, oh yes, I am weak, I can't, you don't have this self-confidence inside of you, then of course it will be very difficult for you. This self-confidence is very important, but that's what gives you also the power to stand. If you don't have that self-confidence in what you are saying, then how can you change somebody else? How can you bring something that you want to give to somebody into their life. It will be very difficult. So that self-confidence in what you are saying, it all starts with oneself. You know? If you are not, uh, you don't have the self-confidence, don't expect God to make that for you. God will not come and change that for you. And I was telling in, uh, where were I? I don't remember myself, whether in Prague or in Poland, I have no idea. You see, if everybody will say, yes, God will do this, God will do that. No, God will help you when you start helping yourself, you know. When you start helping yourself, He will give you that courage, He will give you that power to do so. But first step is you have to have this confidence inside of you. You have to make that first step. You have to have this confidence inside of you. 
then the divine will flow for you. Then he will talk for you. Then he will give you that strength to go to move forward. But if you yourself are not are, are weak in it in yourself, what do you expect? It will never happen. So even whatever you say, then the word itself will not have the power of it in it. But if you say something with confidence, the word itself, what you say, will have full power. It's like with Krishna and Arjuna, you now we see to the battlefield. You know, do you think Krishna could not change the war? A fraction of a second, he could change the whole war. But why he didn't do it? Because Arjuna was not ready. And as Arjuna was not ready, Krishna himself was not ready to give what he had to do. So that he had to discuss and talk with Arjun. Change that mindset. When that mindset have changed, Arjun was ready. That took how many verses? 720 verses of talking. It's a long talk. <laughs> so when, when you are ready, you see, when you make your own strength and power inside of you, then you will see that how easy it is to talk. Even to people who is not interested in your path, in your way. So it all starts with yourself, with your self-confidence in God inside of you.